the Kabbalists teach that when the mind is empty, not being used in a positive way, it becomes much more susceptible to negative thoughts. Mm-hmm, I love that. And they actually they refer to it as a ruach stut or or a spirit of of st- stupidity nonsense. of nonsense. <laughs> One of the reasons it's so important to listen to this podcast. <laughs> One of the reasons it's so important to be studying wisdom is because if you leave your mind vacant, other things are going to occupy it. And those other things are not positive. And and amongst the the many benefits of of really pushing yourself and when I say spiritual wisdom, I mean spiritual wisdom or even you know, if those of you who are inclined towards sci- the sciences, I love this. All, all love these this are important, but you have to realize, and this is a fact that, and and this is again something that the ancient sages wrote about thousands of years ago. If you do not actively fill your mind with wisdom, you are absolutely leaving it as a fertile ground for negative thoughts. It's terrifying, isn't it? Well, terrifying and hopefully inspiring. Inspiring, but you know, it's interesting. It reminds me of prayer, right? When people use their mouths for things that are negative, speaking badly about others or cursing others or whatever it is. So clearly, right through that action of speech, you're drawing down that energy versus if you use your mouth for prayer or words of kindness, connection, right? Then you're you're bring you're manifesting that as well to come Absolutely. into your life. So it's the same thing here with thoughts. And and again, I think this is such an important point, and I really hope that our listeners take this to heart, because this isn't simply about, you know, I'm going to study wisdom because I enjoy it. It's actually an imperative. You you have to realize that unless you are actively... and, and that, live it, is what it is. Well, I, I would say even at the most basic level, actively pursue wisdom. Make sure every single day you're studying something important, because that fills the mind. Mm-hmm. And the more you, you allow your mind to ruminate on important positive thing. By the way, ruminate on appreciation. We've spoken about this before. Ruminate about how much you love somebody. All those things are important. The mind will not stay idle. It is either actively filled by each one of us with positive thoughts, with wisdom, with love, with appreciation, or left alone. It is the fertile ground for all kinds of what, what are called thoughts of silliness, right? But those neg- that negativity bias and the negative thought patterns. So if you're any one of our listeners, and every one of our listeners, I'm sure fertile at ground. times, mm-hmm. has um, been in a situation where they are in, in a negative thought pattern, the first thing we said is, is just starve it of its fuel, limit it to the degree you can negative thoughts about others. The second, which is so important, is fill it with wisdom. Fill it with, with, with love, fill it with appreciation, fill the mind. Do not allow it to remain empty because a vacant mind is a fertile ground for the thoughts of silliness or the negative thought patterns. Yeah, I love that. <laughs>